All right. Time to do a Z button. So, if you watched the last video, you know why this looks like this. So, and it's yeah, it's dry. All right. So, let's see. I got what about this guy all right there we go okay so I take this and it's gonna sit this way so I'm gonna bend this part up so it'll fit in there and then so here's my button. I'm going to take the Zener diode like that and feed it through one of these posts here. Contact, whatever. And if you got a better way to do any of this, feel free to tell me because I know whenever I don't pretend like I know everything I learn a lot you know I've got a I'm a bartender and I got a buddy who is younger than me and has been bartending less for less time than me and I used to talk a lot of shit to him and one day I started paying attention to what he said and what he was doing I was like wow I learned you know, I didn't learn how to make a new drink, but I learned a cool way to do it, to make it, you know, presented better. So it tasted the same, all that, but when the customer got it in their hand, it uh, looked cooler. So, that's uh, sort of a metaphor or whatever for this. And this particular device is getting a master on off switch. Is it? Is this one getting it? Yeah, it is. I probably won't really go into the video for that though. So, got my Zener on there like that and where is the, there it is so moving right along since this isn't a load this is a signal run doesn't carry a lot of power I use smaller gauge wire and I recommend you do the same because it makes it a lot easier to deal with. Alright, so let's see how we're going to do this. And take that, stick that guy like that, solder that hoe up. Okay, so same like before, clip off the excess that we don't need, and I'm going to cover this with liquid electrical tape as well. I just love this shit. It, uh, you know, I mean, I guess if they made regular electrical tape that just fuck I don't know what I'm saying I love this stuff <laughs> it is awesome it's kinda of down to the end of the bottle there it's a little it's a little dry already so okay we got that done why don't we go ahead and do the Okay, so this is kind of, that's what it's looking like so far. 
pay no attention to the 510 or the potentiometer because I haven't gotten to that video yet. So, yeah, that'll work right there. All right, yep. All right, and also what I'm going to do, because I like to drop as many or as few uh, ground wires as possible, I'm also going to land the volt readers negative. And I clip these little wings off because we're not screwing it into anything. I'm careful not to... So there's, you know, there's circuitry that goes out there, so make sure you don't cut into that. Otherwise, it'll short on the box or something. So, I wish there was a way that you could see what I was doing better. Uh, yeah, that'll help a little bit. So, I take it and I run it over here like this. It's about there. And this guy, so cut some of this off. Maybe a little bit more because this one melts. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and we're going to clip some of this off. And then I take one of my little shrink wrappy pieces and so turn the nail back on. Alright, so got that guy. Oh, that's a bigger piece. Whatever. Alright, I'm going to solder those guys. I wish I had a cool overhead camera. I like that Plumes of Hazard guy, man, he's the best. Okay, so once that is done gonna solder that guy right there and here whenever you gotta hold a wire in place I use I have all these little tools or whatever it's good to have a fan got a fan right here when I first started doing this I didn't have a fan and started just breaking out with acne probably the my body trying to pump out the poison <laughs> So, I do this. I'm not saying it's right, it's just what I do. Okay. part is done and then just like before you clip off the excess you don't really want any metal exposed inside here anywhere that is not what you want because what does metal do Conducts electricity. Alright. So that's where that's all going to go. Okay, so we need to cover this guy up with some liquid electrical tape. Get it all covered up. Maybe one more little dab. 
No, that's fine. I guess I could have waited to do that. Okay. So once you got that covered up, you are going to... Where'd that deal go? Stop what you're doing and hunt around for something you just had in your hand. There we go, got it. All right, so take your button. Feed it on in there. You need some little pokey and proddy things too. You're gonna need those. I got a little kit from Radio Shack. It was, I don't know, five bucks or something. I got five little, little tools. Um, then I have different kinds of tweezers and shit. So, you know, just make sure you got something you're gonna need. Uh, this is a pretty small area. It's kind of a, it's a good bit of stuff that fits in there. So. A way to deal with it is important. Okay. So once that's in there real nice and tight. It's going to look like that. So looking pretty messy. Doesn't look good. I wouldn't pay 180 bucks, 200 bucks for that. But it'll end up looking real nice. <laughs> okay, okay. So now we need to power the button and the chip. We're doing it all in one. That's done. Let's see. Alright, kind of bend this guy. I really need to get a better setup to record this. You're not going to be able to tell shit what I'm doing. So, see from the FET, that wire, I'm going to want it shot off to the side. That's going to be feeding the chip. Well, feeding the button and the button. From there, it'll feed the chip. So. Insulation. And I find with buttons, you don't want to linger very long at all with the heat. I've fucked up more than one button before I understood that if you had the heat on too long, it would ruin it. So. So get that where it'll stay on its own, the terminal. Get this guy. Come in here like this. All right. So gonna look like that. That making sense? So once you got it like that, ooh, glad that wasn't open. And so like I said, I put it on there and just try to feed a bunch of solder to it real fast so it'll not melt the inside of the, the button. Looks pretty good. So, that's what it looks like. Alright. So there, and then I cover it with liquid electrical tape. That's a long video. It's the longest video I've ever done. It might not even let me put it on YouTube.
Yeah, and you really want to cover this one good because this is it's a lot of power right here. I mean, you know, you don't want that arching anywhere. You've been following that story. So yeah, all right. That's how I do my button. That's how I connect my button to my fuses and my FETs and my voltage reader. Well, some of it anyway. So, all right. Cheers.